Hello everybody, it is Tammy with Stamp and Scrap Tammy coming to you with a Facebook Live on Wednesday, July 8th. Let me see, I'm just waiting to see if I'm on here. I actually was on a couple of times already. Well, so I thought. So the most recent, that's why I'm, let's see, I guess I'm not too late for all the commotion that I had. So first I turned it on and my radio was going and it didn't shut off. I thought it automatically shut off, but it didn't. So I thought, well, you don't want to hear that. So I had to start over. And then I didn't hit play. So I was sitting here talking to myself a little bit and then waiting for it to come up and it wasn't coming up. So I'm glad that I stopped and took a look. Otherwise I would have done this whole thing talking to myself. Um, so anyways, welcome again at Facebook Live July 8th, Wednesday. So if you're watching the replay, that's when this is originally happening. And um, many of you know, because I've been talking about it for a few weeks now, is that I was supposed to be on vacation this week in Maui with my family on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. So I am just dearly, dearly missing all of my stamping friends that I was going to um, see from across the country and actually, in fact, across the world, there would be people there from all over. So um, what I thought I would do today, since I'm technically on vacation, although I'm still working all week, I'm not really on vacation, is I would show you cards from a card swap that I most recently got back from other um, leaders in, uh, well, mostly the Minnesota area, but some are spread out a little bit farther. So I thought that would be kind of something fun to do um, because I, I don't have every stamp set in the catalog. And uh, you might like to see some samples and just see other people's styles of stamping um, in addition to mine that you tune in to see every week. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, I'm going to see how far I can get through. I do have to leave at about 1140, so we'll see how far we get. And then I can always come back next week and do it. Next week I'll be back with some regular stamping too. All right, let's talk about a couple things going on. I have a BOGO sale coming up um, July 23rd and 24th. The, there is a sign-up sheet for that. Um, on, it, it's sent out in an email. So if you're not on my email list, make sure you join my email list. And I will get you... Um, there's a link on, on this week's email that's going out tomorrow morning for it. And I'm doing a sign up for it. It is absolutely free to come to. You do not have to pay to come to the BOGO sale. But I'm doing a sign up just to allow like three to four people at a time at the sale so that we can social distance and still have a great sale but be very safe as we do that as well. Some of you did get an invite to come early on July 22nd. That is to make up for the um, celebration party that you should have had in April. And also there's sign-up times for that. Absolutely free to you to come if you earned an invite to that. Um, but I do need you to sign up for a spot for that um, just so that we can have social distancing and things uh, during that time. And let's see, what else do we have going on here? Double punches all month long with me. So whenever I travel with Stampin' Up, this would be the third year that I would have been gone in July. And I've offered double punches on my punch cards all month long. So you get two punches per $50 that you spend. And then after you have eight punches, this card does not expire and I keep track of them for you as well. Uh, you get to pick a free stamp set of your choice. Any value can also be a host set if you'd like. In addition, Stampin' Up! this month has uh, bonus days. They're doing it a month early because our holiday catalog is getting released a month early. Um, earlier than what it has in the past. So that's great. So we're going to be able to get our fall holiday catalog beginning in August. And demonstrators can order right now. So if you um, want to take advantage of that opportunity as well, you could order from that catalog right now. So Stampin' Up! is going to give you a $5 coupon code to use in August that can be used on the annual catalog that I'm going to show you today or um, the new, uh, I don't know if they call it holiday. I have it right here. I mean, I always say holiday because it's August to December mini. There's lots of fall stuff in here, but for some reason I just always say holiday. But anyway, so that's this. I can show you the cover of it. Isn't it just beautiful? It is going to be so much fun. I haven't gotten anything out of it yet. I ordered last week um, just actually all of the papers. So I really cannot wait to get them. I didn't express ship them or anything because I am still just really working in on our annual catalog that we just got. So um, I'll be working in that in the next few weeks. So anyways, let's get to it. So let me flip this down. Okay, here we go. 
And so there we go. Now I can see some of the names on here. So hello to everybody that's watching. Good morning. I hope you're having a great day here in Minnesota. Oh my goodness, is it ever hot? Whew. It is like there's a heat advisory for today. Um, and so even in my basement, which is, I'm going to move this down a little bit, which is always freezing cold. I am really warm today. Okay, looks like we are about right. So I am starting with the host code so that if you are interested in taking advantage of any of those opportunities that I have to get the double punches, um, you can do that using the host code. So you do need to use a host code or contact me. I can always help you get your order placed. I'm just arranging the light here so we have some good light. Um, now I will add that the um, double punches, I do not get punches out at the BOGO sale because the BOGO sale, how that works is you purchase off of my retired supplies and then you get that amount for free out of the catalog. So if you pick an $8 stamp, or an eight, there isn't an $8 stamp set. If you pick a $15 stamp set, you pick $15 out of the catalog for free. So it's buy one, get one free. And so there are no punches or extra perks for that. Okay, let's get started here. So I do have our beautiful catalog. And um, I'm not going to show the pages too much, just so that we can get through all the cards. And I will try to say who these are all from. So first, I am going to start with showing some of the kits that we have. Okay, I'm just looking at some of these. <laughs> I'm looking at your comments, so I'll, I'll chat a little bit. This is just going to be a little more fun. So Bonnie says she loves my hair. I just got my hair done last week, finally, after like six months. And so I have a whole bunch of things to do today. So I thought I would actually like really fix it. I didn't do much over the weekend. I've been just kind of like goofing off and I don't know, not doing too much of anything. And Cindy said, I look suntan or burnt. I'm not burnt, but I've been walking a ton. Our kids have been going crazy, loving going down to the ice skating rink at Spring Lake Park. And so while they do that, I just go walking around, um, around the pond, I guess. I was going to say lake, but it's not really a lake. Okay, so first off, let's show this here. So this is one of the all-inclusive kits. It comes with a stamp set. And it's really fun because it comes with the outlines of these lemons. So the paper's already printed, and then you can stamp on those. And just really fun sentiments. And so it's an all-inclusive one. It's $32. Uh, it comes with, let me read here, 15 cards, three of each, five designs. So quite a few cards, plus a stamp set, an ink spot, um, all the ribbons, and it also comes with a clear block. So if you're a beginner stamper, this is a fabulous option. Okay, let's move on. Let's see. There, the next all-inclusive kit I want to share is this one. Now, I haven't actually made up the kit. My friend Gail um, is borrowing me hers that she made up because mine, I, I've used the stamp set, um, but I'm making some alternative cards. And this is an alternative card using the stamp set. And um, let's see, this one is from, oh, there's no name on this one. Okay, so I missed the name on that. I do apologize. I'm not sure whose that card is, but it, this is not my card. Um, but it's just a really great way to use those new ink colors. And then I'll just show a couple of these. This one does not come with a stamp set. There's a stamp set that coordinates with it. But just look at how elegant and pretty they are. And some of the, and they have these beautiful envelopes. And um, let's see here. You know, so really good sayings. Let me see if I can get the rest of them. I'm wishing you comfort and peace at this time. So good for thinking of you. This would be a lovely wedding card. You could do birthday. Um, so anyway, and then there's a get well soon. So, um, but this stamp set that coordinates with this, also a great set to do. And this cute little box comes with it. And that is, so I'm just going to go somewhat in order of these. Um, that's on page eight of the catalog. And it is called Gorgeous Posies. So just beautiful. And so Gail added, it comes with this lovely ribbon. So she just added that on the side. But this would be just a great gift, whether you filled it with the cards that came in it or you just filled it with other cards that you had. Okay, moving on. And the next is this Boho Indigo. Um, let's see, this is a product medley. I think it might be on back order currently. What's great is the medallies, I was talking about this when I was showing the last ones, is now they're coming with refills. So you can buy the whole thing, and then you can also buy just a refill of all of the consumable products, which is fabulous. 
And this, I was so excited when I opened this card. So it's really fun when we do these card swaps. So it's other demonstrators. And um, after you swap with them for a long time, it's really super fun when you're like, that is my favorite card. And then you open it up and you go, oh my goodness, that's my friend Amy. I'm so excited that I loved Amy's card, which, you know, I love them all. But that was really exciting. Amy and I actually just did a demonstrator event with between our teams because she lives not too far from me. And well, it, which our distance doesn't really matter because we had to do it virtually. So I was excited to see that I really enjoyed her card and wanted to share that with you. All right, and then next up, so I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth and back and forth here, is um, Flowers for Every Season Bundle. And oh, this one was my favorite. I haven't used the jars yet, but this one, I love the wood grains and the jar. So this is on my list of cards to make. And that is from Penny Keener, I believe is how you say that. But then I love the designer series paper that's in this um, suite. And this is a card that I had made. We had actually used this for um, one of our classes already. So really pretty. I believe that was all occasions last month that I used that for at the beginning of the month. Okay, so I don't have any cards, believe it or not, with the celebrating sunflowers. I thought I did it, but um, I quickly just went through. Oh, I missed adding one in here. So I knew I had one for this. This is a really fun one. This um, punch here is a double punch. Again, I think this one might be on a back order situation right now, but it is so worth the wait. Um, and this is from my downline, Heather Regert. So she used that here. She did really a great job of lining that up because um, it does take a little bit of practicing sometimes when you're working with those small edges. And she's got the new in color, the misty moonlight. It's just beautiful. And then she used some of these to do some like tone on tone um, stamping in the background. All right, and this was one of my favorite suites. Um, this was in our pre-order. So back in May, I already had this one. So this is a card that I made myself for um, a card swap. Uh, and I thought this would be a great graduation card. In fact, I used it for a graduation card for a party that I had to go to. Uh, but also I thought this would be great um, for scrapbooking or sending to one of my friends that I um, can't see right now because we have to be miles apart while we can't um, visit so much in person right now. Which we have been getting out and about a little bit more. In fact, so tomorrow I am taking the day off and um, my husband has a day off. I didn't think he did. But he has the day off tomorrow, and we're going to do a big field trip to Costco. So I've never been there. Um, so, you know, go to Maui or go to Costco. I mean, it's all about the same. So it should be pretty a pretty fun afternoon or morning day. And before we go on our way, we're going to stop and finalize our taxes. I had finished them last week, but I just had someone review them for us. So we're going to just sign the rest of the papers and get them sent off. So we have just big, exciting plans um, for our week. So anyways, this is the next one, and it's called Campology. Nice outdoor set. Um, there's a little tent in there, so if you like the great outdoors, again, great for scrapbooking, great to send a card, a masculine card, or anybody that you know that likes to camp in the outdoors. And just these trees in here are just lovely. And that is from Tree Westerman, or Trey. I bet it's Trey. Okay, I bet I'm saying that wrong. But anyways, very beautiful card. And I have a whole stack of cards behind me, so I'm, you know what, I'm gonna... I wasn't really keeping track, but I'm going to move the ones I'm using so that if I want to share with you again another day that I don't share with you the same ones. And this was another fun one um, that when I pulled it out, this is Lisa Miltakis, and she is in my Uplines group. And so this is a really a fun set. I haven't purchased this one yet, um, but my husband and his friends are into barbecuing and then different whiskeys. They actually have like a little club that they get together every once in a while, or I don't know, if I, my husband maybe didn't yet get together with them, but they plan to, and they try different ones. That way they can buy, I guess, more expensive ones. Does that make sense? And then they share them. So I'm excited to make a card for him and maybe some of the people in his group um, with this stamp set. And let's see what we have. So I don't have samples for everything, and I'm just sharing ones, uh, newer ones. And isn't this just super fun? Oh my goodness. These dogs, I don't even know what kind of dog that is, but I think that is just so cute. And look at that little gem on there. 
Oh my goodness, that is, this one, it just makes me laugh every time I see that dog. And so this is from the designer series paper and you can cut it out. There's die cuts that will cut out um, from that designer series. And then also you can stamp some of the images and there's dogs and cats, as you can see here, there's, there's both. Um, apparently I'm maybe picked more of a dog person because those are the two cards I just happened to grab. And then here's the other one and these cute little elements that go with it. And there's some ribbon and it's great. And so I think these are the same person here. Um, Sean Perez is who that, who created these cards. Yes, they both are. So just very nice. I, I love those dogs. Okay, let's see where we are now. Oh, this one I forgot um, a card. Okay, so this is called Framed. I saw this card as I was getting started, but I missed the page. Um, okay, so here we go. Isn't this beautiful? So this is Framed for You. And it is Shelly Gruber created this card. And it is from um, Terry Gaines Million Dollar Stamp Set. Just think that's very special. So what's special about that is Terry Gaines is a demonstrator in Minnesota. And she is who um, puts on along, I think she has a few helpers, but she's the main person that coordinates this card swap that I'm sharing these cards from today. So I really appreciate all that she does to um, keep these going for us. Okay, and then next I have a card from, let me pull this one in. This is another uh, million dollar set from Robin Carden called Hippo Happiness. And isn't this darling? And then this is the Patterns for You, which is part of my All Occasions card class, which I'll show you a card that's gonna be in there. And then a little bit of a fun fold from Lynn um, Feldkamp. And then Lynn also had this card here. I thought I'd share. That was pretty cute since we just talked about the dogs. So real easy to use that um, set with the animals on it. And then what's nice, let me show here, is um, this Hippo Happiness has some really cool die cuts. Um, there's a few different ones in there that have more the label look, which I really enjoy. Okay, this is another great, great stamp set and it's called um, Blossoms in Bloom and there is die cuts that go with this too or you can use it as just a standalone stamp set. So it's a very large stamp set so it kind of does your whole image. You could do the stamp off and not um, put it on your whole paper but then you have all these other elements um, on here that you can add in where you like and some good sayings too. It's a very pretty card. Let's see, by Sandy Carlson. I think I have a few of Sandy's cards in here that I really enjoyed. Um, let's move along. And then the Peony Garden, which I just used um, for Birthday Club. And I showed how to make this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I think it was two weeks ago on our Facebook Live. So if you missed that, you can go back and just scroll through or go scroll through the videos and you can see how to put this together. It's very easy to do. Um, at a glance, it looks intimidating, but it's not hard at all. Because if it was, I would not do it. Um, this was one of my own cards that I had created with it. So just kept it real simple. Um, die cut out that and then just did a little half and half there. And then this one is even more simple, just a tone on tone. And that is also Sandy Carlson. So I must have pulled those out at the same time. So just a beautiful card. And looks like my timing will be about right and I'll be able to get through all these that I wanted to. And then this is a card that I had created using the Comfort and Hope stamp set on page 88. Um, this one had some really nice sayings. It, uh, let's see, I'll just pull them in. I'm sorry. This is, I hope this isn't bothering you going in and out. Um, the sending you a paper hug, I think that's just a great sentiment for right now. And some, sometimes there are no words in comfort and hope. Those are the ones that I really enjoyed out of there. And just all the textured elements are really nice to use. Okay, this one is especially fun. Another million dollar set. This is Connie Stewart's set. And she covers kind of all the different uh, drinks you could maybe have throughout the day. And, and treats, chocolate and cookies and coffee and cocktails and um, all the good stuff. 
And so look at this fun card. Look at that. So like, so put that on there and then cut the circle out after. And then there's like a, um, I'm not sure what that's called, but there's a paper now, this glimmer paper that has those all those tones. So cocktails, because adulting is hard. I'd say that would be, and that's Amy Rich again. So wonderful. So I have two of Amy's cards. So you can see where my style kind of goes. You end up really um, gravitating towards um, the same style. Uh, they're the people that stamp the same style as you. All right, and then here's one using the chocolate. A day without chocolate is like, I'm um, just kidding, I have no idea. And that's Lisa Schmidt. So I just feel very fortunate to be part of this group with all of these wonderful um, card samples that I have now to work with. And this is a Whale of a Time. It's a really cute, bright, fun card for maybe a, a child or um, a you know, grandchild or something. And that is Lori, Lori Healy, I believe. And what's really nice is I can share all of these with you because of course, as much as I would like to, um, I'm not able to buy every single set, especially now with the holiday catalog. I gotta save some energy for that one too. All right, so this is this set I love. I love letters that cut out, and these are just the perfect size for a card. And so this card here is going to be part of um, the current All Occasions card class. Uh, it is open to order until July 15th, so this will be one of the designs. And I haven't decorated the inside yet, but that's one of them. So I will have all the letters cut out for you. And then here's a really cute um, another sample from Lee Ann Furness. So she used some of the stamps within this set, but I just love how those letters cut out. And she put hers up on the foam pieces. We have some new foam adhesive pieces that are um, kind of like a dimensional, but they're just easier to use. So again, this was just one of my favorites. I might have to, I might have to do this card in there too, or one similar to it, anyways. All right, and let's move along now. Check these out. If you guys are have been around my group at all, you probably can guess who this is. So I should maybe that should be today's prize. If you guess whose card this is, so the first person to guess whose card that is. I'll send you a little something. Isn't that adorable though? So this is from the Senior Years um, stamp set. I mean, just check that out. She's got some earrings on there. The dog's got a leash. I mean, it's just beautiful. She used the hip hooray um, die cuts. So just lots of different things within this card. And I won't say who that is just yet. I'll show the other one. So I'm not seeing anybody reply just yet. And then here's another more simple take on that, uh, the little lady on there. It's also very cute. And this is from, Ju this one is Julie Frankie. And this card here since, oh yeah. <laughs> Yay, Pat, Pat, you got that right. Yes, this is Gail's card. So Gail was in the card swap too. I did not receive her card, but I was so happy that she gifted me one of her cards. So I have another one that I'll share on another video of hers, but yeah, just check that out. And she told me when um, she gave this to me that she didn't have much time to get ready. So this is what she ended up with. So, I mean, I just appreciate all of the work that was done on this card. So thank you, Gail, for gifting that to you. I mean, I think I just really love the earrings. I'm going to have to buy that set just so I can put those earrings on that lady with the little, the pearls. All right, let's move on then. And so, Pat, I'm going to put a little note that I have, you're going to be the winner today. I'm making a note of it right now. Okay, and then Forever Greenery. This was a one that really surprised me how much I really enjoyed um, this set after I got it, um, particularly the designer series paper. And so this is from my upline um, that she had just sent me um, last month for something, I don't remember. Um, exactly what but look at that's a really a fun fold so this is from Kay Kalkoff and I love that she's got the ribbon in there the less in color ribbon so just a cute card that might be one I have to replicate as well and then this is a card that I made for a swap 
and I did a little bit of a fun fold. This was part of our one sheet wonder. I just switched out the kinds of paper. So um, if you look back, if you're on my email list, and I'm going to probably work on sharing that one sheet wonder again, um, but this was one of the cards for that. I just switched out the designer series paper. And all right, here's a nice fun way to show that magenta madness. So magenta madness is one bright color and um, I love it here. It's kind of toned down a little bit with just adding it to the little bit of the flowers in that label. And this card is from Susan Campfield using the Field of Flowers stamp set. And moving on to Birds and Branches. This is a bundle. And I had a bunch with this one. It's really great. Um, so the die cuts cut this circle out, it looks like, along with um, those branches just like that. I don't have this one yet. And this is from Terry Gaines. So really a pretty card. So as I'm going here, now I slowed down a little bit. I realized I was maybe going too fast, but I said I wanted to make sure I got through these. So these I have showed a couple of times. These are cards that I had created um, that are free right now with a $50 order. You actually get two of each. Um, if your order is less than 50, you'll get one of each. And it's just the card set up so that you can create them as you would like. You can use this suite or you can use stamps that you already have, but you get all the cutout supplies, all the die cuts and things are included. And then I will be emailing you out a tutorial. So if you are waiting on that, these are going to go out probably on Monday. I will be sending these card kits out. I'm going to finish um, cutting them today and then Friday, and then I will have them sent out um, hopefully by Monday. Because this weekend I'm actually leaving too. I'm going to go to my brother's cabin, um, way actually like north north of um, the cities. And then I think it's over by Wisconsin somewhere. I've never been there. So they invited us. So we're, that's what we're doing this weekend. So we are getting away a little bit. And then this one is just beautiful. It's called the stamp set is hand drawn blooms. And I'm going to page back one because this is the last one that I am showing today. So I have a couple minutes here. It's artistry blooms is the stamp set. And I really just like this huge stamp here. But there's this really cool die cut. I mean, it's you could really do a lot with that. And that's using that kind of toned um, glimmer paper. Yeah, so look at that. I mean, that's really pretty. And then she just die cut those out, it looks like. So very beautiful cards that I had to share with you. I hope that you enjoyed them all and enjoyed a little bit different Facebook Live as I kind of took a break from doing much creating or stamping on, on video. I will be back next Wednesday with a live for you. I'm going to just pull some of these in as I finish chatting. And again, let me pull this in one more time. Host code right now. Remember, double punches all month long with the exception of the BOGO sale. So two punches for every $50. And you will get a free stamp set after eight punches. That punch card does never, does never, oh man, does not ever expire. Excuse my talking here. All right, so let me just pull a few of these in while we finish up. I hope you love all these as much as I do. And once we're, um, the, okay, so the BOGO sale is going to be on the main level of my house. My um, stamp studio is in the basement, but I will welcome you if you want to come and take a look at these on my displays and you're okay with you know the steps, you will be able to come down and take a look at cards. Um, I have absolutely no problem with that. Um, but I wanted to keep it on the main level to keep my area clean so I can keep on creating and leave the um, sales set up for a little bit. Um, so also, if you're not able to make those, those dates, you can contact me and I will set up another time because when I set up a BOGO sale, I do like to leave it set up for a few weeks because it is a lot of work to get set up. Um, so I will be leaving it up. And um, shortly after that, I will be posting the event for um, the beginning of August, um, provided that our situation in our area with COVID stays kind of where it's at and we are safe to gather. 
So aren't those all just so wonderful, especially when you pull them in? Oh, I'm gonna have to take a picture of this before I um, pull my camera off of the mount here. All right, so that is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and I will be back with you for a Facebook Live next Wednesday, July 15th at 11 o'clock. Have a fabulous day, everybody.